All right, about a month ago, I did like a, a quick little like tutorial on how to get QMC MAME up and going on your machine, and uh, I didn't really go in depth about about BIOSes and and CHD files. All I did was just basically just show you how to get up and going, and and uh, you know add your little snapshots and stuff like that, make it all pretty, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, uh, you're gonna every so often you're gonna encounter a ROM that will not work. And it could be multiple reasons why. You know, it could be a BIOS is missing, it could be a CHD file is missing, or it could be that it does work, it's just that your computer is not, you know, strong enough for it or, or fast enough. Which which sounds stupid because, you know, these are older games, but your computer needs to emulate basically like another computer, right? It needs to emulate the motherboard and the CPUs and all the little chipsets and it has to do a lot of work in order to get these older games working properly. So if you have a slower machine and, and your and your ROM isn't working right, it could be just that your computer might be not up to par, I guess. But there also could be that the ROM itself or the game itself is not properly emulated anyways. You know what I mean? So it's even it, it doesn't work just because it just doesn't work, basically is what I'm saying. So anyways, as far as the BIOS and ROMs and stuff, um, there's a few games that I think a good example would be like Street Fighter 3. Um, I can get the Japanese one to work, but I think that requires the CAPS 3 ROM. I'm sorry, the CAPS 3 CPS 3 uh, BIOS and also requires a CHD file, which is basically a CD ROM image. And um, I have a list here. I'll, I'll post a link to this website. So, say like Dance Dance Revolution, right? Okay. Okay, you could, if you find the ROM, that's cool. But you, you're gonna have to need the C, you're gonna need the uh, CD CHD file, right? So that's gonna be the ROM, the CD ROM. So the ROM itself probably has information on it, and so does the CD ROM file too, which would be like the music or whatever. So they both go together, all right? So if you're trying to emulate a game, you know, come here, I guess, and and just check before you actually, you know, start pulling your hair out because you can't get you can't get the damn game to work. You know what I mean? So. To download these CHD files, I guess, you know, I gotta say it's illegal, right? If you want to download them all, of course, you can just go to a turret and grab them, but they are pretty big, you know what I mean? So that's one way of doing it, right? There's a, I found this other website, I can't really post a link, but here, let me just show you. There you go. So this place, you can find a couple CHD files, you know, for some games. You can try that if you want. And as far as the BIOS, you know, just, you know, Google's your friend. So anyways, uh, to get this, the, these uh, BIOS and CHD files up and going, just uh, find your ROM directory, you know, that you, that you set up before. All right. Open up your ROM directory and, uh, you know, for your BIOS, just go ahead and drop them in there. You know, drop in a directory all your BIOS, but your your CHD files is a little bit different. So right now I have Street Fighter 3, and this is the US one, I believe. And um, yeah, I've been tinkering around with it, and I can't get the US version to work. I can get the Japanese one to work just fine, it's just the, this one doesn't work at all. So I'm still working on that one. But for San Francisco Rush, um, it, it, it worked pretty well. Um, you know, I mean, it my computer isn't strong enough to, to push it. But um, basically, all I had to do was was uh, create a folder that's named exactly as the ROM is named. So these are my ROM zip folders. So my ROM zip folder of San Francisco Rush is called SS. I'm sorry, SFRush.zip. So when you make these little folders, you know, name it exactly the same as the as a zip file minus the .zip, right? So just create the folder, name it, you know, the same thing without the zip, and just go ahead and drop the. Uh, the CHD file into it, your little CD-ROM CD image, I guess. So do that, then go ahead and, and uh, run the run the ROM, run the game, I mean, and uh, let me see, where's it at? Played. There it is. Should work, kind of. So plus I'm recording and and my computer isn't the fastest thing in the world, so. Hopefully you'll, you can get get the idea how slow it is. So if you absolutely want to play this game, um, <laughs> if you can find it, I, I actually have the the game on, on PS2, right? It's called Midway Arcade Treasures. 
I lent it out to a buddy of mine. I haven't got it back yet, but it's out there. If you just search for that title, you should find it. It had this game on it. What? Press abort. Whatever. Five. There it goes. So here it is. Waiting for others to join. Or oh, whatever. Yeah, it's really slow. Anyways, it's not bothering, you know, point going going through the whole game, so anyways, so that just shows you how it works. Or proves that it works. Let's try another one. Uh let's see, Street Fighter. Here's the one with here's the one that I couldn't get working at the USA one, but the Japanese one does work. This is Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. And it should look laggy because I'm recording with uh, Kazam, but it's actually, it runs very, very smooth. Put my quarters in. Lower down a bit. Let's play one little quick fight. Dudley? Alright, why not? Yeah, I used to play this game all the time when I was a kid. Well, not really a kid. I was like 1999, so what, 18, 19? Damn, I'm getting old. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, missed. Damn. There we go. One more round. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I got lucky in that one. What I get? A B, yay! All right. Anyways, you get the idea. It works, and it works very, very well. So, uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. Um, hope this helped you guys who's experiencing some problems with uh, with ROMs not working. You know, I mean, there, you are going to run into some some games that will not work at all. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.